Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna put together this Comtest Modern Home Furniture Power Tool Organizer. There's the specs on it. So the first thing I like to do anytime I'm putting stuff together is get everything organized. And so these come uh, from uh, labeled part numbers. So A, B, C, all the way through L. So I just laid them out uh, <clears throat> alphabetical order and this even if the stickers come off comes with directions here so you can you can match the piece up to what letter it should have been it all comes with these uh, sets of screws as well you can't put it together if you don't have these don't throw them away they're kind of hidden in this box so make sure you don't toss them all right here is step one this is great. Actually, the directions are pretty good. Um, take piece D, E, kind of C. All right, don't be alarmed either. When you get to piece M and you're looking for your boards for piece M, piece M is, is one of the screws here. So the longer the screws. The pieces you'll need for step one is D, E, G, so D, E, F, and then um, G and I. So just these pieces and then the M screws for this first step. To do this job, you can use one of these or a manual screwdriver, but I'm sure you have a bunch of these. This is why, which is why you bought this thing in the first place. So yeah, this is a Phillips, Phillips screwdriver, cordless drill. So we're gonna start with piece D here. So you'll notice the two sides are different. See those big holes? And there's those holes. So that's a foam. I mean, the, uh, the uh, that's where the screw will, will sit down in there. It's recessed for the screw head, so it's flush. You wouldn't want to screw from this side because the screw will be sitting on top of the board versus inset and flush with it. All right, I'm gonna take D and set it on top of E and screw down in through there and into there. So these will be on the bottom side of D there. So I'm putting it like this too, so I can pop my, like I did with this first one here, piece E to D, um, take these screws and I just popped them through because it comes with this, you can't really see where you're going. It's got some kind of weird filling stuff in there, which doesn't make sense to me. Maybe it's just to kind of grab it and strengthen it, but who knows? So I just put that in there, push it through, and that way you can line up your you can line up your hole correctly. Otherwise, you're kind of going into it blind from from down below. So I'll just get all three of these on there. And I got the screws all pushed in. Just sink them. Okay, piece D to E is now done. So let's take piece G here and go up to the side like that. And we're gonna use two of these, the long ones. So you get 32 of these. The book says you get four of these, but they gave me five, so it looks like I got an extra. A couple of these. Same thing, just kind of push them through so you can line them up good. Correspond to the two holes right there. All right, next step we're going to install pieces three F's and then the I piece. The I piece is going to go to the longer piece right there on the side. That's real easy. Just going to, just like that, it's going to be the same thing. Push the two screws through, have them line up with the holes. I'm going to punch them in. There we go, that's put together. Next step. Next step involves piece B and J. Stand piece B up here like that. And then this piece, one side has holes, piece B, or J. This side has holes, no holes, holes. So it just goes right here. It's gonna go right there. I'm gonna screw in there. Sit that on 
the side. Well, that was step two there. Now we're gonna go down to step three. C and K. CKL. These holes on piece K are gonna face up towards, you want that cut out in the upper left corner. And these things are gonna face that. I'm gonna go up that way. Now piece L there is gonna go on the opposite side of where we just put piece K. And I screwed it too hard, you don't wanna do that. Don't give it as much uh, gas as, as, as I did, so. so piece K, or L, is just gonna go right here on the bottom. Step three, now we're going to go on to step four. I'm going to take piece M and uh, you know the screws. Take this set up here, screw it into A. Take our two assemblies that we just did and screw them into A. Okay, this confused me for a half second based off the directions, but if you just lay your pieces like that, that's where the big block goes on the left, and the thinner block right there is on the right. You just take your piece A and you're gonna set them right on top. So these things go in, these things face in, and then piece A is just gonna set right on top like that. Okay. That's where we're at now. So you got two like sub assemblies there, and then we got piece Step H. five. And we're gonna combine, it even tells you down here, combine Step four in the picture, use the M screws, combine it with step one. So we're gonna combine, we're gonna combine the one we just did with step one. Okay, so this piece, so the thinner's on the left, the thicker's on the right, the block's on the side. And this is just gonna come right in here, like that, straight on. And you're gonna do two screws right in there. Right there, and right there. Just gonna put piece H right on top of there. Gonna slide right in there. We're gonna screw it in. Piece H. Right on there. It's gonna secure here, here. It's gonna secure there, there, there. We're gonna go down through the top through those two, and then it's, we're gonna secure it through the sides too. This one gets a lot of a lot of screws. All right, there we go. Now, the other four screws and uh, these here, those are for the wall. Maybe five, maybe there's five. Except I got six pieces here, <laughs> whatever. Hey, I'll take extra, no complaints. But uh, that's it right there. So that's gonna work good. I'm gonna go ahead and mount it, mount it to the wall. There it is, well, we painted it black and uh, just to match everything. <clears throat> Love it. Got storage for that. Got storage up top. Got things on the side for bits. I mean, this is a good little, good little unit. Uh, the only bad part is, I mean, yeah, it's made in China. So it's made out of cheap particle board. So we'll see how long it lasts. So it seems pretty sturdy, but, and, and we did coat it with, with the paint. So not that you have to, but overall, Pretty darn happy with that. That's gonna give me a little more organization. And you can put your batteries up top, tips and batteries and bits. All right, thanks for watching.